لكن تحديت الظروف وخذتها وحدي صبورا مستعينا بالصلاة كم مرة عصف الأنين بداخلي كم مرة قد ذاك قلبي من أساء محنتها وكم كرهت مصابها الفاز جروب أدى بوغات okay. The Bugat are those who are, they are, and know Ahlul Haq, they are Ahlul Haq. And the, st- and the proof of Ahlul Haq, meaning they are asking for what is their Haq. Oh, that's what it means, ha. Ahlul Haq. It doesn't mean they're the people of the truth. No. That they're doing a good thing, they, Ahlul Haq. Ahlul Haq doesn't mean they're upon the truth. It just means what they are يعني, f- demanding and what they want is right. They've been wronged, they've been oppressed. They're asking, they want their rights. That's what they are. Okay. Ahlul Haq. But I have to ask you, how do you understand that? Because Ahlul Haq can also mean the people of the truth, can it not? No, what do you mean? Like, the, Ahlul Haq. So why does Allah tell us to fight with them? Why does Allah wa ta'ala, and the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Ijma'ah of the Ummah and the scholars is that we fight with these people? I'm going to go into this. Okay. They are Ahlul Haq, inshallah, meaning what they are asking for is legit. It doesn't pose what the Sharia. For example, the government is just cutting the electricity. They're not giving them their rights. There's, yeah, and they've been starved. The, 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 etc. That's the first thing. Okay. Second thing. Second reason is and the sababu and the is dunyawi. They're worldly reasons. They don't have the qala Allah, qala Rasul. These are bughat. Okay. So you heard Abdurrahman Hassan when explaining alul haq. He says what they want is their haq. And even, I think, Beavis or even Butthead, whoever, whoever you want to call Beavis or Butthead, uh, he was even surprised. He goes, huh? What? He goes, it doesn't mean like the uh, group from amongst the people are truth. He goes, no, 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 no. It's just what they, they, are, they want their haq. They just want their haq. Now, I'm not even going to refute you on this. I'm going to let Spobs do the refuting. I'm going to let the other Salafi branch, which you've got a problem with, which you guys obviously, you know, uh, have, a, have a little, you know, bickering between the, yourselves i'm gonna let them refute you and then i'm gonna follow up because what you just done there mate is absolutely diabolical the way you just explained that honestly i don't know you, you know what was going through your mind and how you even just you even justified it because you even didn't make any sense after that and we're going to comment on that after so according to abdurrahman hassan uh al-haq means what they want is their haq so ibn qudama al-maqdasi splits those who do khuruj into four different categories. And the fourth category, as you can see on screen, قَوْمٌ مِنْ أَحْلِ الْحَقِّ And I'm going to read on as well. So, uh, people that are upon the truth. Rebelling, people on truth. So this video that I just played for you was a response to me by uh, a channel affiliated with the Madakhila. Okay, they're Madakhilis obviously, but they're affiliated with Shamsi and DUS Da'wah. Now what they did, uh, to be honest, let's be fair, they corrected me. Because the translation that I provided was incorrect. Now, as you saw, the correct translation... Okay, this is not from me, by the way. This is from a channel that's affiliated with Shamsi, DUS Da'wah, Dar Sunnah. It's not even Bro Haji. They are responding to me and they actually corrected me. So the correct translation is, okay, a people from amongst what? The people of truth. They are a group, this Qawmun. So obviously Qawmun, he didn't say Qawmun, but he said they're Ahlul Haq. And when he was explaining Ahlul Haq, he said what they want is their Haq. So Ahlul Haq, according to Abdurrahman Hassan, which is not true, is he just basically lied. He, he made a translation up to fool his non-Arabic audience. And even the ones that probably do understand Arabic, they just basically wanted to just hear anything from him. So the Madakhila, when they were responding to me because I didn't translate it correctly, yes, Qawmun min al haq Okay, a group from amongst the people of truth. So al haq here, it doesn't mean what they want is their haq. It, it doesn't mean that at all. As you can see on screen, we've got the book Fatul Bari by Ibn Hajar al Asqalani. And he's quoting Al Ghazali. And Ibn Hajar is saying that basically there are two groups that rebel. But the second group is of two groups. And he mentions that the the, the first of those two groups, meaning the second group, are those who rebel angrily for their religion due to the oppression of their leaders. And them not acting according to the Sunnah, what are they? فَهَاُولَاءِ أَلُوا الْحَقِّينَ And they are the people upon the truth. Okay? They are people upon the truth. Or you could say, um, 
you know, a group of people. But he doesn't say Qawm. But if you want to say a group of people, that's fine. But look what he says. If we go by Abdurrahman Hassan's translation, they are the people that want their haq. And, and amongst them is uh, Al Hussein bin Ali. And, and uh, those from the people of Medina in Al Harra. And those Qurra who rebelled, meaning wanting their haq against Hajjaj. So they're coming back to me now. Now you know, Abdurrahman Hassan, that this passage here, Al Haq here, doesn't mean those who want their Haq. They want their Haq. It means that they are amongst the people of truth. And amongst them, Hussein Anhu. So Abdurrahman Hassan, you know that translation there was diabolical, was absolute BS. You know that and I know that, the way you translated that. And I guarantee you, whoever's watching this, non-Arab, the ones that are learning Arabic, and those who are Arab will say, hold on, what the hell did, how the hell did you translate that? So, uh, they are from amongst the, oh, they are the people of truth, or if you put qawmun in there, they are from amongst the people of truth. It doesn't mean they want their haq. And then he mentions, obviously, that Hussain was from amongst the people of truth, or it was upon truth. Hussain al-Anu was upon truth. According to you, he wasn't. According to you, he wasn't. You want to call him an innovator. I know you do. But obviously, you know, you ain't got the bottle, have you? Then he says, those that rebelled, uh, of the people of Medina in, uh, in Al-Harra, and the reciters that rebelled against Hajjaj, uh, and then the second group, listen, and وَقِسْمٌ خَرَجُ لِطَلَبِ الْمُلْكِ That the second group, the one that sought, what? Just for power. Just to, just to get power. And... They rebel seeking authority only. Whether they had a doubt or not, they are Bugat. So they are the Bugat. Ask some countering questions now to see if this guy's consistent, to show you how flawed uh, his explanation is. Uh, obviously, the PR sister ain't none the wiser, is he? He's not the brightest fish in the sea. But let's ask some counter questions. So if I was to say now, you know, those group of people there, you know, those group of people, I'm just pointing out of, they are Qawmun min al Fadl. They are a group, the correct translation, and you know this as well, that they are a group who are the people of virtues. Al-Fadl. According to you, that would mean that, you know, those people there, they're the people that want virtues. Al-Fadl, Al-Haq. Al-Haq means they want their Haq. So Al-Fadl means that they want Fadl. Another example would be Ahlul Adl. Okay? Uh, obviously, the correct translation would be, which everyone knows, a beginner a, a student in Arabic, and those who are intermediate or even advanced will know that Alul Adal means the people of justice. Okay, the people of justice. According to you, if we use your example, that Al Haq means that they want their Haq, Al Fadl means Al Adal means that people that want justice. So if you say, okay, uh, you know Alul Adal, Alul Adal from today means that they want justice. They want justice. They're not the people of justice. They are. Wanting justice. So also, uh, Al-Kirama, that the people of, you know, honor. I mean, that's the correct translation, the people of honor. Okay? Or dignity, or respect, or whatever, however you want to translate it. But according to you, no, no, they, they want dignity. They want... You see how ridiculous it sounds. You see how you just play with the text. The first group are the Bugat. Okay. The Bugat are those who, uh, they are, Annahum ahlu haq. They are ahlul haq. And the, and the proof, haq, meaning they are asking for what is their haq. That's what it means. Haq. It doesn't mean they're the people of the truth. No. That they're doing a good thing. Ahlul haq. Haq doesn't mean they're upon the truth. It just means what they are يعني, demanding and what they want is right. They've been wronged. They've been oppressed. They're asking, they want their rights. That's what they are. They're okay. haq. But I have to ask you, how do you understand that? Because Ahlul Haq can also mean the people of the truth, can it not? No, what do you mean? Like, the, Ahlul Haq. So why does Allah tell us to fight with them? Why does Allah wa ta'ala and the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the ijma' of the ummah and the scholars is that we fight with these people? I'm going to go into this. Okay. They are Ahlul Haq, inshallah, meaning what they are asking for is legit. It doesn't pose what the Sharia. For example, the government is just cutting the electricity. They're not giving them their rights. There's, yeah, and they've been starved. The, 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 etc. That's the first thing. Okay. Second thing. Second reason is and the sabab and the is dunyawi. They're worldly reasons. They don't have those. Qala Allah, qala Rasul. These are bugat. Okay. So Ibn Qudama al Maqdasi splits those who do khuruj into four different categories, and the fourth category, as you can see on screen, qawmun. And I'm going to read on as well. So, a people 
that upon the truth. Rebelling, people on truth. <laughs> Thank you.